The complex feelings of shame, disgust, and self-hatred brought me bouts of depression, anxiety, eating disorders, and other compulsive con conditions. Sometimes I think it's hard for people to translate these generic terms into reality. For me, it was a girl crying on the floor for hours, trying not to rip out too much of her hair. For me, it was a girl wanting the pain to stop so badly that she woke up for months to the thought, I want to die. Sexual abuse is so much more than a disturbing physical act. It changes the trajectory of a victim's life, and that is something that no one has the right to do. I am here to face you, Larry, so you can see I've regained my strength, that I'm no longer a victim, I'm a survivor. Let this, sen let this sentence strike fear in anyone who thinks it is okay to hurt another person. Abusers, your time is up. And that message, your time is up, is the Hard Me Too movement. Judge Rosemary Aquilina backed those survivors up when she sentenced Larry Nasser to prison. She's still with us. And joining her is Emily Whitehurst, the president and CEO of the Houston Area Women's Center. They are on a mission to end domestic and sexual violence for all. Good morning. <laughs> By the way, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. There's a woman I talked to not too long ago, it was right before this, the whole thing started, mm -hmm. and she said, you know, I don't know who would listen to me because I'm nobody. Right. And then after we saw gymnast after gymnast after Olympic star after Olympic mm -hmm. star, she said, you see how long it took them and their mm -hmm. stars, who would listen to me? The Houston Area Women's Center will listen to you. And there are organizations like this across the country. That's right. Yes. In fact, there are 24-hour hotlines with people ready to answer those calls. And it doesn't matter if you're abused today or yesterday or years ago. We are here for you. And when you call, we will believe you. Last year, we answered over 3,700 calls from people in the Houston area who had experienced some form of sexual abuse or sexual assault and just wanted to reach out, get counseling, get support, had figured out how to cope and manage, and then those tools weren't working anymore. Um, and they wanted help, and we were there. Yeah. I was sexually assaulted in college, mm -hmm. and he was a star. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, no one will believe me, mm -hmm. and he's a star. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have to create an atmosphere in society where we give that sense of support mm -hmm. to women who they can be believed, or it's not a matter of this person's perceived as important in society and you're per perceived as nobody right. in society. Right. And give children power to speak. Because yes. as adults, if they're not speaking, children are really not speaking. They need to be believed, yeah. and families need to come together to believe them. It shouldn't divide them, because what does a child have to gain? Yeah. All right, what does it look like when someone comes to the Houston Area Women's Center? Uh, I know there's domestic violence, there's sexual abuse. Yes. Uh, well, first thing I want to say is all of our services are free and all of our services are confidential. So while I want people to feel very empowered to tell their story, I don't want people to feel like they have to tell it to the world if they don't want to. Right. So when people call us, they will get somebody on the phone, it will be free and confidential, and they can get crisis counseling right then. They can also walk into our building Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with no appointment, and we will receive them, give them counseling. And we have 40 groups a week for people who just want to either come be in a group and find solidarity, and we also have individual counseling. Uh, so we, we really are a full shop for people who need support either with one another or one-on-one -on -one to process this trauma. And it, it is trauma, and you heard that from the survivor yeah, there yeah. just speaking. It, it is the, we don't want to normalize or minimize the impact of these experiences. When somebody robs you of your dignity and doesn't honor your body, it is, it is a trauma. Yeah, and, and we say, you know, survivor. I want to add to that thriver, mm -hmm. right? And that's what you want women yeah. to do who've been through this. And, and, and there are cases where men have certainly Absolutely. and boys are sexually Absolutely. abused as well, so I don't want to I don't want to leave that out. Uh, but the, the key here is not only to survive, but to thrive. For more information on the Houston Area Women's Center, call 713-528-6798, 713-528-6798, or log on to hawc.org.